Hi, welcome to this episode of Tile TV. I'm Mark Heinlein, Training Director for the National Tile Contractors Association. I'm also CTEF CTI number 1112. And today, I'd like to talk to you about spot bonding. Some people call that a method of installation. As far as I'm concerned, it's a very unsuccessful method of installation and it is not recommended by the tile industry. Spot bonding does not ensure adequate bond. It doesn't really bond very well uh, the tile to the substrate and it doesn't work at all in a wet area. Water gets behind the tile in a wet area and creates big problems. We don't want that. So if you're a tile installer and you're spot bonding your tiles, now is the time to stop doing that. One way you can learn how to not spot bond is by attending an NTCA training workshop or regional training program where we teach people of all aspects of the industry how to correctly trowel. That's one of the things we do and it's the key element for the tile industry. I highly recommend watching NTCA's famous video, Trowel and Error. In this seven minute video, it will teach you why you should not spot bond and why you should use straight line directional troweling. If you are an owner of a tile installation or looking to purchase a tile installation from an installation contractor, or if you're an architect or specifier or general contractor, here's a document that you can look at to make sure that your installer is not spot bonding your installation. Whether it's a shower, a floor, a backsplash, you do not want it spot bonded. You will not get the right coverage you need to support your tile, and you could get water and other damaging elements beneath the tile layer. If you see cracking grout, cracking tiles, hollow sounding tiles, all of those could be related to a spot bonded installation. You don't even want to get to that point. If you see an installation being bonded incorrectly, I suggest speaking to your installer, pausing the installation, having a conference with all of the parties involved, maybe your architect, general contractor, engineer, tile contractor, and tile installer, and decide, hmm, is this going incorrectly? But before you even get to that point, I want you to make sure that you're hiring qualified labor who does not spot bond to begin with. Someone who is familiar with the Tile Council of North America handbook methods, someone who is familiar with the American National Standards Institute specifications for installing ceramic tile, and someone who's a member of their professional trade association, such as the National Tile Contractors Association. Have all of those conversations, make sure you understand how to correctly install tile, and make sure that the contractor or installer you hire has all of this information available available to them. Members of the NTCA will have support from the NTCA technical team while they are installing your system. So thanks for tuning in to this edition of Tile TV. I'm Mark with the NTCA. Tune in next time.